Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about some MCQ questions and the topic from where we are going to discuss is immunology. So this is a video series where I discuss several important questions for different exams from different topics. So at the end of this video, you would get 10 questions. So it just take 20 minutes of your time. So please stay tuned till the end of this video. Now I know that many of you guys are preparing for these exams like IIT JAM, CSIR, CATB, GATE, etc. And the biggest confusion that you guys have is like where to practice MCQ, where to learn concepts. So these are your questions, right? And for that, before we start this video, let me give you some solution. So Unacademy is starting a Achiever batch exclusively for IIT JAM 2022, where India's top educators would be your mentor and they can help you, guide you throughout this process. The doubt clearing sessions would really help you to clear your doubt and understand the concept in a better fashion. It is starting from 21st April, so please note the date and enroll now. So in order to enroll, you have to download the app. You can use my code AP10 to access the uh, courses and it would also give you a 10% discount. And finally, you just pay with your credit card and give the online test. Take the advantage of online classes in this difficult time of COVID, right? Where you cannot go for a, a conventional teaching inst institute, right? So enroll now, hurry up. And why I'm telling you to hurry up? Because like everywhere, there is a price hike in these courses as well. Because the economy is drowning, right? So enroll right now to beat the price hike. Already the prices are so low. So take advantage of it enroll or subscribe to an academy right now okay let's get back to the questions so we start with this particular question which says mark the one which is not used in generation or generating antibody diversity so which process is not used to generate antibody diversity so let me tell you the options combinatorial vdj joining junctional flexibility and insertional diversification then somatic hypermutation gene expression changes so among all of these answers option d is the correct option because gene expression change can sort of like uh, tell you that how much of that antibody would be produced but the diversification of the antibody the affinity towards a particular antigen that cannot be changed using gene expression level changes so this is an important question now the basic concept from where this question was asked is vdj recombination somatic hypermutation and class switching so you can take a look at all of these concepts which is described in the i button so click on the i button to get all this concept okay next question says which of the following is the order of appearance of the antibody in case of humoral immune reaction so which order antibodies appears in the humoral immune reaction option a says igg then igm option b says igm then igg option c says iga then ige and option d says ige first and then igg so you need to understand the concept of primary versus secondary immune response all of that is described you can get the uh, video link in the i button so the correct answer here is igm and lastly igg so these particular video does not explain the concept in details but if you want to learn the concept you have the whole playlist in the i button okay the development and differentiation of macrophage takes place respectively in bone marrow and thymus bone marrow and tissue space thymus and lymph node thymus and spleen so pause this video and try to answer if you have answered correctly the correct answer is bone marrow and tissue space so basically in the bone marrow, the macrophages are uh, developing and they are actually in terms of monocytes, okay? So these monocytes enter the tissue space, get differentiated and become macrophages. If you want to learn the uh, detailed concept, you can join my course using my code AP10 in an academy or alternatively, you can watch my YouTube playlist. Okay, this particular question says, which one of the following is not an professional antigen presenting cell? macrophage dendritic cell b cell and mast cell so you have to understand which is not a professional antigen presenting cell so all of these things has mhc class 2 so obviously these are professional antigen presenting and this one is not so correct option is option d okay then the question says all of the following 
interaction is present between antigen and antibody except van der Waals interaction, hydrophobic interaction, hydrogen bond and covalent bond. So the correct answer is covalent bond. Now covalent bond does not exist in terms of enzyme substrate reaction or antigen antibody reaction. All these are non-covalent interactions. So you have to understand all the non-covalent interactions that could be possible between enzyme substrate or let's say antigen antibody. So this particular question was asked in IIT JAM in one year. Now, if you want to get a sense that what type of questions are asked in IIT JAM, you can also click on the playlist, which is already uh, linked in the I button. So you can get a sense of uh, IIT JAM, GADB, etc. What, what are the previous year questions? Okay. Then fusion between plasma cell and the tumor cell creates a myeloma, natural killer cell, lymphocytes and hybridoma. So this is one of the very interesting uh, topics and very interesting question. So this is hybridoma, right? So this hybridoma technique is used to generate monoclonal antibodies. It's very important for research. So take a look at hybridoma technology and link is, you know, given in the I button, right? Okay, question number seven. Down regulation of T cell activation is achieved by binding of which of these molecule to the T cell uh, receptor CD80, CD86, right? So obviously, you have to understand which is an inhibitory interaction, right? So, or what interaction prevents T cell activation? This kind of question was asked and the correct option would be CTLA. So CTLA, BTLA, these kind of molecules prevent T cell activation, okay? And it works like a break and the detailed concept, you know where it is, right? Okay. Which of these is not a characteristic feature of adaptive immunity? Immunogen mem immunogenic memory, antigen non-specific interactions, self and non-self recognition, and D diversity. So you have to understand what is not a feature of adaptive immunity. So the biggest feature of adaptive immunity is it's highly, highly antigen specific or pathogen specific. So obviously this non-specificity this is not a feature of adaptive immunity this is a feature of innate immunity if you want to learn more about adaptive and immu innate immunity you know my friend what to do okay question number nine the person is experiencing uh, one person is experiencing a primary infection with covid19 virus b cell activated in primary infection secrete which of the antibody first this kind of question we have already discussed previously now, this is just the same question in a different format. So you try to answer and comment below such that I get to know. I'm not solving this particular question. Last question, which cell utilize reactive oxygen species and nitrogen species and lysosomal enzyme to kill the pathogen, right? So the options are cytotoxic T cell, natural killer cell, macrophages, and uh, natural killer cell, NK cells. So which of the cells use uh, reactive oxygen, nitrogen species to kill the pathogen? So you have to understand the correct op option and you can answer it in the comment and see you next time. So thank you for staying till the end. And lastly, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And please turn on the bell icon for notifications. And do let me know in the comment how these videos are helpful for you. Thank you.